In this video, I'll show you step by step what you need to do to set up your Chromebook for the first time. So once you turn on your Chromebook, you're going to have this page asking you to connect to Internet. So you'll have a list of all the networks available around you. And all you have to do is to select your home network or your office network and then type the password. Once you're done typing the password, you're going to click on connect. It may take a few seconds, sometimes 30, sometimes 40 seconds to establish this initial connection with your internet network. And then you'll have this screen appearing. You'll need to select if this Chromebook will be used by an adult or a child. In this tutorial, I'll go with the first option. If you choose child, the Chromebook will have many more limitations. Next step, they will ask you to enter the email or the phone associated with your Google account. In other words, if you have a Gmail address, this is your Google account. So you just have to type it there. And when you're done, just click the next button. They'll ask you to type the password associated with this Google account. So go ahead and type your password. And again, once you're done, just click on the blue next button. Now this screen is important if you previously had a Chromebook or you were using the Chrome browser. It will ask you if you want to sync the data that was already in your account with this new computer. In my case, I want my bookmarks to be synced, so I'll click accept and continue. Here you have to read this Google Play Terms and Services. And you can also check or uncheck this, which means that Google Drive will back up all the Google Play apps. Click more when you're done. And on this next screen is again to allow Google Play to back up on Google Drive and also Google Play to use your location. It's up to you to decide if you allow this or not. Click accept. The next steps are optional because you can opt out of the Google Assistant. Google Assistant is when you tell by voice the computer some commands. In this case, I will agree because I want to show you the setup, but you can also say no thanks and skip this part. And if you change your mind later, you can always put it back. It will load up. This next screen is to allow the Google Assistant to see what's going on on your screen to help you give you a better answer to your question. So if you want to allow the Assistant, you can say agree. If you don't want, like myself, you can say no thanks. Here it's to give permission to Google to hear you say, hey Google, to wake up the Assistant. I said agree. Now they will want to hear your voice so they can train the Google Assistant recognize when you call for it. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Now we just have to wait to the next step. And here you have to decide if you want a light team, the screen to be mostly white. Dark team it looks like this. It's the screen turns mostly black with white text or you can select auto so it will switch when it's sunrise and sunset and it will do it by itself. And finally, you're going to click get started. And the Google Chromebook will finally be set up. Now, I just want to show you a few more things. Down here, you have some apps that are installed. If you want to install more apps or games, click on the Play Store and you'll be able to browse them over there. Obviously, you need to accept the terms and services the first time, but then it will load up and you'll be able to install many, many more apps, games and whatnot. You can also click on this uh, arrow here on the lower right side. And over here, just wait a bit of time, you're going to see if there is an update from the here we go. There's an update for the Chrome OS. So you will have to restart and update. This is very important because probably if it's a brand new computer, it didn't got updated. So the screen will turn black and then it will uh, power on again by itself. You don't have to touch anything. Just wait. 
And here we go, we have the Chrome OS logo and it will ask you uh, for the password of your account and you'll be able to log in again. I hope this video was useful. If so, please leave a like. Also comment down below. It's always appreciated. Check the links in the description and I will see you in the next one.